Hello. Looks like I see some eyeballs. Hi Els. Hello everybody. Just making sure that I'm set up. I'm just gonna shift my camera a tiny bit. Whoops, sorry. Yeah. This is my little marker so that I know that I'm <laughs> within my screen, but it's really hard when you're setting this up to see where that's supposed to be. So I think that is. I just want to make sure that what I'm working I had to move my camera because it doesn't seem to want to zoom. And I know last time folks, oh, there, now it will. I just had to be live before it would zoom in. Okay, I see lots of eyeballs coming. That's great. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm going to be making some ATC cards today. And I just need to get piece of black paper again just so I can read your comments better so I'm just going to slide this over here whoops right about there hey Liz hi Anita hi Jenny lots of eyeballs popping up so today I'm going to make some ATC cards based on the June prompt which is birds so I don't know how many people are following along with the ATC prompts. They're in the ATC, the ECDAC, ATC group on Facebook. That's a bit of a mouthful to say. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Becky. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And here is my one sample of the card. So how does that show up? So this is um, it's called a holographic paper. And I have a few different papers that I'm gonna use. Hi, Pat. Hi, Sue. So this is what I'm gonna be making. So I just pulled out the garden party. This is what I'm gonna work with today is this garden party paper. So I'm just gonna set this out of the way because I've already done um, my pre-cutting. But before we get into the paper, I'm gonna do a little bit of prep work. Hey, Jessica nice that my daughter could actually join and watch us today um okay so I've done a little bit ahead of time so this is it's just cheesecloth um and I've sprayed it with the distress stain this is tarnished brass so I only have a couple of these I have this and I have a silver but I thought that this would work nicely with those papers so I'm just going to go ahead and prep this other piece so I'm going to make a set of four cards today so I have one and then I'm going to make four more and then I'm probably going to have some extra pieces so I'm probably going to end up making it a set of six possibly okay so I did the first ones just a little bit differently um I, so I'm hoping this is going to work N not really differently I just um I balled them up and put the spray stain on it and oh my it was hard to unravel them <laughs> So I don't want to do that this time. So let's see if this works better. So see, there's lots of um, the stain on there. So I'm just going to try. So I really, really move them around and bunch them up, like I said, the first time. So I think maybe what I'm going to try is just using my paper towel here and seeing if that can move. That's better. So that will move it around better. So this just stops it from getting all balled up because I had a really hard time. See how that's all like together. <laughs> I had a really hard time pulling these apart. It doesn't really matter because what like we're doing with it, it doesn't need to be flat by any means. It just needs to be manageable. So I'm just going to pull that up onto another piece of paper towel um, so that it will dry better. And then if I have to, if it hasn't dried all the way, I can always dry it with my heat tool. There. So that's all I did. 
And that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, but that's all I did with the cheesecloth. Just I thought it might sparkle and shimmer a bit, but it didn't. <laughs> um, it just looks... It just looks colored, but it's a nice color and it works well with this. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way. I'm going to have to clean that off because we don't want that all over our cards. And of course, I didn't grab my wet wipes. Hang on. Oh, they're right here. Almost everything I need is always within reach because I have a very tiny workspace here, so everything's very close. Okay. So there, now I don't have to worry about that getting all over. I have some other scenes from previous projects on here. Yes, hopefully Sue, hopefully it's not me. I can certainly see myself, but I didn't turn up, I turned the sound down so I couldn't hear. So if anybody else is seeing any issues, please definitely let me know. Okay, now my next step is I'm gonna do some stamping. So I'm going to stamp on a few different materials. So of course, nothing new here, but I'm just going to kind of play around with it. So my original one had this fancy kind of holographic paper, right? So I've got a few different colors of it. Um, it came from close to my heart. I tried looking to see if there was other places that you could get this. And for the most part, all the holographic papers are kind of like a silver color. Um, but I'm going to experiment with some different things as well. But I just thought I'd show you this. So I'm going to use my stays on and I'm using my platform because it's very slippery. Um, it's so when I did actually do one stamp just with my block and it slipped for sure. So it's just too hard to do it without the stamping platform and it works really well with the stays on ink and the stamping platform. So I should tell you this stamp, this stamp here, it is uh, a dream is a wish. So I think these are called hand-drawn stamps. So this is one of the hand-drawn stamp sets, still on the website, so it's still available. And I think it's even on discounted. So it's a good deal if you grab it now. So just make sure that that's nice and inked up. But of course, it's on the platform, so I can always stamp it again if I need to. And I, made, I did make sure that my magnets were inside because the last time I did it, I had moved my magnet and it was stuck on the edge there, so it didn't work very well. Woo! Okay, there we go. So it stamps really nicely. Can you see that? Just depends how I move it, right? But you can see that there. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. And then I also grabbed some gold um, cardstock. So this is um, the Sizzix set. It's from this one here. So this is the mirror. Yes, this is the mirror one. And we're gonna give that a try. So I haven't tried this yet. So we're gonna give this a try and see how it works. Make sure that magnet's okay, yeah. So yeah, I haven't, um, I don't know if I've ever stamped on gold metallic paper before, but I'm assuming it's gonna work pretty much the same. Let's give that a good push. One of these days, maybe I'll get one of those um, I don't even know what they're called, one of those little tools. But I don't really use my stamp platform a lot, so that stamped beautifully as well. Yeah, that looks really nice, eh? Okay, so set this one. Got to give it a little bit to dry, though, um, so you don't want to touch it right away. And then I've also grabbed a piece of vellum. So I have a bunch of different printed and colored vellums. Honestly, I just got them at some uh, crop that I was at. They were just sitting um, a bunch of leftover pieces. And so I just grabbed them because I, I like to have different types of papers and I really don't use them very often. But I thought it might be fun to see what it would look like if I stamped this onto the vellum and then what it would look like on the card. 
So let's see. I have stamped on vellum before, but typically it's just been like a clear frosted vellum. So we're going to see how all of these look on the card. So all the cards are going to be the same, the bases, and then we're just going to use different um, uh, stamped images on them and see what it looks like. So that stamped beautifully as well. So that one definitely needs to dry a bit. I can see that it's wet. So I'm just going to give my stamp a quick clean. Just have to grab my stays on cleaner. Not stamp's going to be black for the rest of its life, but that's okay. It still works. It doesn't matter. Um, my cleaner. And then I always still like to give it a bit of a wipe with my chamois. I find that it actually will take more of the ink off when I do that. But like I said, it doesn't really matter that it's stained. I'll just set that aside so it can dry. Okay, now I have pre-cut a lot of the pieces. So I'm just gonna pull these over here. I still don't wanna uh, touch those just yet. And then I've done all of my pre-cut work. So, I had some corrugated cardboard that I've had in my stash for a while because I saved it. And it's actually like it was from a set of dishes, right? It was in between. You can see the circle imprint there. It was in between dishes. And I'm like, that's actually really cool. So if you ever buy a set of dishes and it has this in it, keep it. It die cut beautifully. It's very flimsy. I guess the backing of it is very thin. So it's very soft, but it ran through really nicely. It did crush, um, crush it down, but you can, as you can see, you can still see that it's corrugated. It didn't really um, ruin it or anything. It worked really, really well. So that was pretty cool. And then I've also cut out this Use Your Wing stamp. So this stamp is somewhere close by here it is so this is from the artist trading coin set so it's this one here and then i die cut it with this bigger circle here and then i'm going to ink all of my edges so i grab some of my um, light brown ink and i'm just going to ink those up so i already inked the card and the base, which I should mention, the card and the base are cut from, I believe that was the first ATC set, right? Yeah, that was from the um, Artist Trading Card Special, I believe it was called. So that's just the base ATC card and then the, um, the stitched inset. So I'm missing one little circle, oh, there it is. So I'm going to ink that one up as well. Coffee sleeves work well to die cut small things also, Teresa says. Yes, that's a good idea. I actually was looking at um, some coffee filters when I was out in the store and I never did buy them. We don't use them. We have a Craig and I don't drink coffee, so. But I do have some tea bags because I... Um, I use some of those with just some loose tea. And the tea that I use, it was actually really good. It was chocolate tea, if you've ever had that, it was pretty cool. Um, but it leaves them um, like a pinkish reddish tinge, which was kind of a neat color to have. So just gonna ink those up. So you can see a couple of my birds anyway, I think. I think this is three different colors of that paper. This one is more blue, this one is more yellow, and then that one was more purple. This is the gold here, and then this is the vellum on the end there. And one more. 
And I was looking through my stash just to see what else I might want to add on here. So I have something fun I'm going to try at the end, and I'm going to do it on this sample too. I didn't try it at all yet. So you just, this is really flimsy stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't need to be strong to put on the card. The card is strong enough it will support it. Whoops. Okay, so that's good. So I think... I don't want to... Okay, so those are good. So I'm probably not going to bother cutting that one out right now. I'm going to use these two here. So you'll just have to bear with me while I turn around to my die cut machine. So these dies are really easy though. Um... I found to line up. They've just designed them so nicely that you can just see your stamped image so easily. Okay, so I'm just behind my desk. My die cut machine is right here. I'll just run this through real quick. And there we go. Whoops, I lost it. Oops. Sorry. Okay, here it is. So that's the gold one. Just bring that little piece out. And then there's a little piece right there. So just make sure those are popped out so that it cuts nicely. Okay, I think I'm going to put that here to line it up. It's easier to see there. And then hopefully this should cut nicely too. I've I haven't really die cut with vellum very often, I don't think. I know when I die cut plastics, I always have a hard time. It never, it never cuts all the way through for me. Okay. So, did that work? Yep, no problem. There we go. Okay. So I think I'll go ahead and I'm going to stick these bases down and then we'll play around with each card and decorating it. <laughs> Femke, the birds. Yeah, I guess that is kind of like a <laughs> Hunger Games. <laughs> so each one of these cards, because I'm cutting them, I cut the stitch piece out of the flowered paper they all have a little bit of a different look to them. So that's why I kind of thought it would be cool to play around with the different colored birds, um, depending on what color is on which paper. Because this one is more blue, so it probably will have a blue-ish bird. And then gold or the vellum on the yellow one. I don't know. We're going to play around with it and see what looks best. And I think, yes, I have enough. We'll have to see if the... Um, oh, my words are failing right now. I don't know why I have such a hard time with this. <laughs> Which gone right out of my head what it's called. Completely out of my head. Okay. So let's stick all of these down. Cheesecloth. It's cheesecloth. I'll have to see if my cheesecloth is dry. If not, I'll just dry it. I have my heat tool handy so that I can dry it. Now I had initially put this like this and then as I was playing around with my layout with my, my bird, I thought, oh, you're not gonna see this nice little detail unless I put it this way. So, and I think this time I'm gonna turn it like this. I don't even, that one doesn't look like I even inked it. Oh, you know what? I know why. Because I did something different, which I should have done first. So, sorry, folks. I'm going to do something on here. Let's hope it will come off. It will. I just have to get my little mat back. I forgot all about it. That I was going to add some of the spray to this. So... Where's my little mat? Whatever, here's another one. 
Okay. So I thought I would see what would happen if I did this and it worked out and I really liked it. So I took the distress, the spray stain. And I, oh, there we go. Didn't make too much of a mess. A little bit. Got it on my arm. There we go. Okay. So all I did was I went like this. And I just ran the edges through just to give it a little bit of a distress rather than, I mean, I did ink it, but the ink didn't do a ton to it. I don't know if it's just because it's craft colored already, but then this adds a bit of sparkle to it, right? Look at that. That one folded over. So let's put that back. There we go. Okay, that seems to be drying Woo, fairly quickly. So I just thought that was kind of neat. And then you can just kind of, you could add more, but most of it's covered up anyway. I have to spray a bit more on there. I think I will. There, that was better spray. Good, that's gonna stick to my desk now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna still, I have to remember and add some splatter to the cards because I did that also. There we go, I think that's good. So I don't know, does it show up very well? I think so. I certainly can see it here no problem just wasn't sure if it was showing up on the camera as well okay get some of this off of here i think i'm gonna have to wipe that so i'm gonna put my cards on there and i don't want to get the back of the cards all messed up which reminds me i better stamp them first i have to try and remember and do things in the right order so that it's easier so I'm going to just remove that for just a second because you don't want to forget to stamp the back of your cards. And it's usually easier to do it before you decorate them. So I have my stamp already. So again, this is from the um, Artist Trading Card Special as well. And then I just grabbed basically the same color of ink to stamp this with. Okay. Hopefully I don't make a big old mess here. My hands aren't too bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna go like this. Now you can obviously, you can just die cut this after you stamp it and attach it to your card. Sometimes you don't need to, and you can just stamp it directly on. That one was a little bit crooked. Oh, the the paper is just different um, versions of the same color. You want to say that? So it's two-toned, right? So a light and a dark. But this one is an old, old two-tone of the same color. It's actually a textured cardstock but you can't really tell because it's mostly covered up and so the color on the back um, was different but the color on the front is all the same and I only have a tiny piece of this stuff left so I thought it would be good to use it up okay I'll give that a clean getting well used this one Okay, so now I'm gonna bring back my little non-stick mat. And then I can speak of these. Yes, Femke, basically it was a, I don't know if I'd say necessarily a special edition, but it was just a different um, version. 
it was an original version of two-tone that close to my heart had and then they switched to not two-tone and then they did another two-tone so I'm just gonna splatter this and I probably will have to get out the the heat tool to dry up some of this there we go another one See, I could set it right in the middle, but I don't know that I'm that accurate. <laughs> so we'll just dry it off in between. Oh, I know. I could do two at a time. Oh, I could even do three if I'm really careful here. Let's give that a try and see if that's going to work. Get that out of the way. Oops. So I don't even know if you noticed on the first one that it had some splatters because most of it's covered up, but it's still fun to add a little bit. There, that's good enough. Okay, put that over here and then I'm just going to grab my heat tool and we'll just dry those up so that we can continue on. I'll make sure everything else is dry. I think these are, they might need a little bit too. Okay. Oh, sorry. There it is. So if you've watched my lives before, you've seen me pull this out. It's just a clipboard with some tin foil on it. I've said before, I don't know if the tin foil really makes any difference, but I had read about it, so I thought I'd give it a try and it's on there now, so I just leave it. So it may or may not help things dry faster. I don't know, but I'm going to give this a shot. Hopefully it's not too long to dry this. Should be pretty quick. They're not very big blobs. I don't want to just like tap them off because then it kind of takes away the the shimmer. I think I guess that's what you would call it. They're almost done. One is done. That one's being stubborn, but I think it's okay. Oh. I'll do the other two, and then I'm going to give those corrugated pieces a quick blast as well, just to make sure. Because like I said, that um, cardboard is super thin and soft. It's really, like, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's really soft. So it really... Um, absorbs the ink so it makes the paper really wet I'll show you when I finish with this one uh oh <laughs> what did I say <laughs> I'm not sure I saw a comment there about editing a last word because somebody's giggling and I don't even know what I said. So we'll just let that go, I guess. <laughs> okay, that should be okay. It might be a little bit wet still, but we're going to move on to these other ones. So that one's not too bad, but you can see it's a little bit wet. This one looks really wet. Yeah, see? That one too. Okay, so hope oh that one's gonna stick if I it's got adhesive and that one has adhesive. Ooh, look at that little trick. That one doesn't really need any. Let's give those some quick heat. Dry them up. Oh it wasn't me. Good Teresa, thank you. <laughs> For confirming that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and figure out what I had said. <laughs> Oops, let me do it this way. Yeah, but see how wet those got? Right through it. I think they're actually dry, just... Oops, everything's blowing away! Usually I do this, like, away from my desk. That looks okay. Okay, I think we're good with that. Get that out of the way again. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. So, see, I'm turning them around because they have a text on them. I'm making sure that that's facing the correct way. So now I can put that back on there. That one's really distressed looking now. And I think, I don't know, maybe we'll do two that way and two the other way. We'll do this one like this. camera yeah and this one will go the same like that okay so then next we need the cheesecloth so I might need to cut it a little bit it's really it's really stiff now <laughs> so I can ball it up let's see where the other one went let's see if it's dry this is the piece that I did at the beginning. It's not, I wouldn't say it's dry, but it's not very wet. Mostly dry. There, see, just that little piece, because it's all folded over there. I don't want to make too much of a mess in my hands. So I may or may not use that piece. Let's, um, Let's just see. So this is cheesecloth that at the beginning I had um, added the ink to it. So it's colored with the Distress Spray. Okay, and then each one needs the bird. So let's see which one gets which bird. So this one's got a lot of yellow. So I don't know. See, does it, it actually looks, it looks nice with the, ooh, with the vellum. It's very sticky, that stuff. Okay, and then this is holographic, and this is holographic, and this is the gold. So let's try that. How are we on time? The uh, clock doesn't do a good job of updating for me. Sorry, just looking at the, the comments. I'm just gonna have a quick drink. cheesecloth you should be able to find it um at like any kind of kitcheny home even the grocery store maybe i don't know okay i'm just gonna give this a quick cut because i can always put two pieces on if i want to like that might even do this put a piece there and then a piece on the top That's gonna go like that. It's gonna go there, and then this is gonna go here. So, whoops, likes to move this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive there. I don't wanna put too much, because I don't want it to come through. I just want a little piece so that it holds it in place. Oh, that didn't work too well. While I add my glue, I'm gonna, I don't know, like that maybe? I think it was over more. I'm gonna add this little bunched up piece. Let's add that. I like the look of that. Just gonna put a little bit more. Yeah, come on. There we go. There. I like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to add this one down too first. 
I just want to make sure I have adhesive right to the edge, even though I'm going to cut that off. But before I push that down, make sure I'm in a good position still. Yep, that's good. Okay. And then I'm, oh, whoops, there we go. Okay, I'm going to use my liquid glue for this one, and then that will help to secure the um, cheesecloth as well. Whoops. I don't remember which pieces are going to hang over. Did you notice the pieces hang over the edge of the card a little bit, but not very much. And I will show you, I'm pretty confident it's still going to fit in my ATC sleeve anyway. So I just got to hold that down a little bit, make sure that glue sets up nice. Get it off the back of that. Okay, I'm going to cut that off. And then we're not done. There we go. But I'm going to set that up there and work on this one. So, how was this? I think I might... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, ooh. <laughs> Can see through the vellum. I didn't think about how I'm going to attach this one because it's vellum. I think I can still use the this, I think. So let's, what are we going to do? We're going to put a little bit of adhesive on here to hold this. That will actually hold the bird too. I don't want to put too much on it, but I think it'll, it should be okay because it is supposed to dry clear. And just rub it maybe because now I can see the lines of adhesive. So let's just spread it out. Okay, and then I need another one of these. And I'm still gonna, I was gonna actually, when I was playing with my sample, with my first one, I was gonna staple this on, but I decided to do something else, which I will show you. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the comments there. Okay, next one. This one's kind of scraggly looking. I don't know. What do we think? What do we want to do with this one? Maybe this way? Do I want to cut that one too? Just, ugh, I don't like that. Oh, but I have this piece here. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to cut a piece of this off. I'm going to do that one there. Yes, put a bit of adhesive on here. That one like that. It's fun playing with this stuff. And then I do more like, I'm going to put a bit more adhesive there. So I'm going to put this one up a bit higher. I don't like that that's a straight line though. So I have to play with that. There, now it's not a straight line. It's easy to fix. <laughs> it doesn't take much. Okay. Another circle. Um, right about there. And then get this one stuck down. Good. You don't need a ton of adhesive on there. Let's there. I gotta hold it for a second. Do David's trick and put a block on there. There. Okay. Last one. I'm gonna have to use this. Yeah, it's pretty dry now. It's way too much. 
So, which pieces of it do we want? Let's just bunch it up a little bit. It's complaining that it was too bunched up when I did the first one, but now this one is not bunched up enough. Let's just do that. We can go like that. And then I'll add another piece. Like, there, flip it that way. There we go. And then, oh, I'm gonna go and put it all on there. I'm gonna go wild, use it all. <laughs> Maybe it was too much now. I don't like that now. Hang on. I gotta cut some of that off. My scissors are not like the sharpest anymore. <laughs> and it looks like they have adhesive on them, even though they're nonstick. Okay. Put that little circle on there. And then we're gonna experiment with something. How's my time doing now? Looks like I'm okay. Okay, oops, last little bird. Saw some more Hunger Game comments there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I am gonna use this, but I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping real quick. So this is the, um, stitched duh, the stitch stamp so from david set stitched borders i think it's called cs345 and i ended up deciding just to use this little straight one because all i'm going to do is add it on the edge which i didn't cut this one off either so i just gotta cut that off and each of them this one i didn't there okay give that a quick edge distress and then just like I said I was thinking of adding a staple but then I thought oh no wait I have these little um, stamps that would be perfect now on this one I used the green um, and it matches the paper so well that I don't like it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I thought it would look nice because it would stand out. But this time we're going to try it with this um, light brown ink and see what it looks like. So I just inked up just the edge of the stamp there. And then I'm just going to stamp that on there. And I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to turn it around so it doesn't line up the same. And we'll go like that. There, so it's like it's just faux stitching to hold that little tag on there. So I thought that was kind of a little neat touch, very subtle little touch. But these little stitching stamps are great. clean. It would have been, um, I think it would have been nice to use more of the zigzag, but there wasn't um, enough space to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to try a fun little trick that I learned from Karen Gerber, I think. I'm pretty sure. So um, I would assume these are just like prills. I got them for 50 cents at a thrift store. They're meant for flowers, um, but they're just little beads. So I've used them on something else. Oh, I used them in shakers. That's why I've got them was for shakers. But that's not what I'm going to do here. So I'm hoping this is going to look cool. I thought it would. So I'm going to, I think I need to get myself a piece of paper to put underneath here. So let me just move a few things out of the way because this has the potential of being very messy. 
So I just need a nice big piece of paper to put underneath everything. It's not very big, but hopefully this will work. Okay. So maybe we'll just do one at a time. And you know what? I think if I had a bead tray, which I have, there, that's what I need. That's what I need. So this allows me then to collect whatever mess I make. Okay. So I'm just going to take my glue. And I'm going to uh, just squirt it somewhere. <laughs> so hopefully this is going to work. And hopefully this is going to look good. So like I said, I didn't try this on my sample. So let's see what happens. I got a lot of these, so I can be generous. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Okay. Try and shove some. That's a, that's a big old glob. Woo! Oh my! <laughs> what do you think? Of course, it's not dry yet, but I feel like I need some more in there. Um, let's try something. I think there might be some in there. They're just underneath the glue. I put a really big blob there. There. So, there's one done. Ooh, I lost the comments there again. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can I hold it close to the camera? Yeah, sorry. Definitely hold that up. How's that? There's a couple in there that aren't on the glue. Okay, so let's try another one. Let's put these back. A whole bunch of them <laughs> came out when I was doing that. <laughs> My husband will be thrilled. There'll be little teeny beads everywhere. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without... I don't know. <laughs> There's still beads bouncing all over the place. These are very bouncy. have glue on them now oh well okay now do not forget to put your stopper back in when you're doing this <laughs> Our beads will go everywhere okay so let's do one more well we could do, do them all but um i do actually like the way that that kind of went almost in a line there that was kind of neat needs to like go flat sticking up oh well hopefully it will go flat once I get some beads on there and what we do like that and like that and kind of highlight that Weighted eye mask broke and beads everywhere. Oh my, that would be quite the mess. Okay, here we go. I, I don't. <laughs> That's a lot of beads. Ooh. Make sure I don't grab it where I put the. Oh man, I have to be more careful when I'm doing this. <laughs> They're going everywhere. Oh look, I missed a spot. <laughs> Here, we'll just pour more out. I think it's better to pour, whoa, pour more out than to try and tap it in there because then I get glue on everything. Okay. Let's uh, try another one. So I'm just going to leave those in there and try it this way. 
Um, I'm not sure how um, great these will be for tra trading. <laughs> they, uh, hopefully the little beads don't all fall off because they are glued on. So hopefully they will actually stay in place. Oh, okay, here we go. Do I have enough glue there? <laughs> now I'm second guessing myself. I feel like that needs more there. Just a little bit more. Make sure I get all of the areas this time. Well, I gotta say, this is fun anyway. <laughs> oh, that one needs more. Whoa. There we go. Oh, maybe I should put it all the way around there. Look at that. I think it's okay. Sorry, I'm just like staring at it, looking at where I see the glue still, but I think, I think it should be fine. Okay, another one. Oh, look, now it's just like rolling around. I kind of like that being almost all the way around here, though. So I'm going to do that on this one. I think that's kind of neat. Let me just put a little bit up here. And a little bit there. And there. And there. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Gotta say, I'm really enjoying this. This is fun. <laughs> I highly recommend giving this a try. I'm not, uh, whoa keeping up with those comments very well, people. Sorry. How are we looking? See, I like that. I like that going all the way around there. I might have to add that on some of the others. I guess set that down. I'm gonna I'm gonna dump these back in now, I think, because it's it's getting very full. That's my time. Oh, I'm doing good. Okay, let's dump these back in before I make a mess of something. Ooh, it's so many beads. But it's like, it's not, like I haven't even put a tent in this hardly. <laughs> okay, last one, last one, okay. I'm not sure, will I try and go all the way around that anyway? I'm gonna go up here. I think I'm going to again. I'll go up here. More in here again. Let's go down a bit more. And then, ooh, going crazy now. Going crazy now. I'm having too much fun with this. Okay. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> oh well. You want to see what I did? Here, look. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> I'll have a bit of a mess to clean up after. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's just get this done. <laughs> what happens when you're having too much fun, eh? At least I caught it before <laughs> they all fell out. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, tall skinny jars aren't good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, they just go everywhere. 
That was kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> oh, look, I forgot to put the cap back in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's uh, be done with these <laughs> for now. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean up. <laughs> um, put that over there. Okay. So, <laughs> dig these out of the big mess. Here. <laughs> So I'll have to post pictures once they dry so you can see how they look. And then hopefully once they're dry, my beads aren't going to fall off. Look at this. <laughs> that one's a big mess. <laughs> Here, what are we going to do? Uh oh, there. Oh. Woo! Look at all those. There we go. Okay. <laughs> the treasure hunt. <laughs> oh boy. That's okay. That was fun. What do you think? You know what I forgot to do though? I didn't write on the back. It's going to be hard to write on the back now with these beads on here. But I will figure it out. I did on the first one anyway. So, got to try and remember and do that. I don't even know which one is my sample now. I think it was this one here. But I did write on the back of it. See that? So, I am uh, hosting an ATC swap. So, for now, it's for Canadians because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. So, somebody is going to get some of these in their swap I think which one is your favorite which one do you think looks the prettiest I know it's kind of hard to tell when you're just looking at the the camera and you can't really see them all I don't know I like them all this one's kind of cool I probably well it's not even really the um, adhesive that you're seeing it's kind of the adhesive where it touches the cheesecloth that you can see behind there. Can you see it on the camera there? <laughs> the blue one, the gold one. <laughs> the blue one. So I'm, I'm assuming that this is the blue one because I think that's the one that looks blue when it's sitting. When you turn it, it changes colors. They're pretty cool though. Oh, I'm sure I must be at my time now. Just about. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that big mess and all. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to go and clean up now. <laughs> Once these dry, I'll be sure to take pictures so you can see how they look um, with the beads once they're dry. So everybody have a great day and I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.